Hello there, all you beautiful thrill seekers. My name is Ghost Shadow Stubborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to Ghost Chat YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages. My name is Ghost Child Stubborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Now, this is a very, very very exciting construction update because we're going to be recapping the last few days of construction images which end with today's images today's upload from great adventures twitter uh, the link to that will be in the description down below along with the rest of the links so check that out for yourselves and the lift hill has been topped officially at 805 a.m in america um the jersey devil has been topped off and we're pretty much pretty much done with completion pretty much done and we're going to recap the last few days. So we are going to recap the, the, the sort of few days that we sort of haven't received a construction update on this channel. Uh, so we're going to recap the last week of construction updates, ending with the big one, the topping off of the lift or the topping of track uh, today. So we're going to recap all of that in this video and share my thoughts on the latest construction. And also, for those of you who are new to the channel, we're going to share with you the stats of this ride. For those of you who need a, a bit of a recap, you know, get back, get your glasses on, get your... Uh, Get through the library, get back in the history books, and we're going to recap the stats uh, for those of you who need a recap. So, before we get started with all of that, make sure you like the video, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. I am aiming for 4,000 subscribers, not 3,000 anymore. I want 4,000. It's got, it's, we've got to double it by the end of the year. It's got to be done. Um, I'd love to get 4,000 subscribers. It would really mean a lot to me. So, guys, if you haven't subscribed and you're watching the channel continuously, make sure you go and hit the subscribe button it would mean an awful lot also guys stay tuned for more videos if you want to submit your own video ideas use the google forms link i save every single video idea i've already pre-recorded one already uh, so i'm going to pre-record a whole lot more in the summer once uni's done and finished and out of the way for the final time uh, so in the summer we're going to pre-record all your video ideas so far so stay tuned for all of that and comment down below your video ideas so we can get more and more videos uh, processed through also, guys, links down below for Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat for this channel and my personal accounts as well. And also, the Discord server link where you, yes, you, the Costa Chow fan base, can be a part and interact with other members of the Chow Nation, as we call ourselves. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the last few days of construction images from the Jersey Devil Coaster. So we have to go back to the last few days, few days ago in fact, and uh, station track was being completed, the lift hill was going up as well, and also uh, just, just more track being put in, that was the whole generous of the last few days, just more track being put in. And uh, we were at a point where the lift hill was just about ready to be topped off uh, going into uh, a couple of days ago, so the lift hill was almost topped off. And we were almost there in terms of completing the track. And then we skip ahead to today. When we get the big construction images about the lift hill being topped off. This first one already on your screen with the America flag. You know, God bless you, United States of America. Um, attached to that piece of track that's ready to go up. I mean, you know, you see the, the zero G in the background as well. One of the drops as well. I mean, this, uh, this is a colossal project at Six Flags Great Adventure. And, you know, I've said in numerous videos now, it'd be wonderful to chat to someone at the park about this project and how they came up with this project in, in the ideas department because, you know, if it was as anything as close to the idea first suggested about this project, then, you know, fair play to the creators of this project because, you know, this is a wonderful idea. And RMC, of course, coming up with the layout and everything and they come up with an extreme, interesting, amazing layout for this coaster. Uh, next image on your screen now, Fan Dabby Dorsey. Uh, that is the topping of the lift hill right over there's just one piece missing just one and then on your screen right now fan dabby dorsey look at that thank you very much good night sunny jim and there we go the lift hill's been topped off the final piece of track on that lift hill and uh the track is pretty much done around about done and overall you know the park have done a really really cool job in 
um, constructing this coaster and I think that overall you know the park have just done a wonderful job in hyping this coaster up and hopefully we'll get some information of when testing is going to begin because I reckon that once testing does begin we're going to see a hell of a lot more hype around this coaster than there was previously and that's not even an understatement um, you know they topped it off and there we go. It's 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 awesome. I really, really can't wait to see this coaster up and running testing wise. And I really do think that the park have done a really cool job in um, keeping this project as hyped uh, over these unforeseen times. You know, getting people really excited. And overall, I'm just a massive fan of this project. And from the UK to the USA, big fan. Can't wait for this devilish ride to open at Six Flags Great Adventure. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is the latest on Jersey Devil over the last few days. Station track done. Uh, more lift hill track was completed until the topping off of the lift hill. So I say we're about 95% there in terms of track completion. Just a few more pieces to go now, and Jersey Devil will be completed. Of course, we will film and upload a secret, separate update on the completion of track. Uh, not really secret, because it'll be public. But we'll upload a... Uh, construction update when track has been officially completed and sort of start to estimate when testing is going to begin uh, but I'll tell you something now they've really picked up the pace ever since the start of the new year with construction on this and I think that overall the park have done a really really cool job in uh, just constructing this project and making this project look absolutely incredible and I reckon that you know the park have got a bright bright future under the Six Flags chain you know, Six Flags Great Adventure I, I know they're probably going to upgrade their kids area in 2022 I think that's the most likely prediction for 2022 at the park uh, so we can pretty much confirm that you know even at this early stage I reckon they're gonna do something with the kids area next year just to take a break from the thrill market but I reckon they'll get back into the thrill market in the next couple of years with maybe a flat ride the next coast will be five six years down the line in my opinion so it'll give a good few years for Jersey Devil to settle into the coaster lineup and then they can start thinking about their next major project and where that is I don't know but in terms of this being a, a new major project sort of um, become the benchmark for the next five years ready for that next major project I reckon this is the perfect coast to be that benchmark project over the next few years while they add something like kids rides family rides, thrill rides uh, off years for park improvements and just overall just think about exactly what they're doing because you know 2022 for Six Flags is going to be an interesting one, Aquaman Powerway is going to open at Six Flags over Texas Six Flags Magic Mountain is going to open their RMC Raptor so Magic Mountain and over Texas and maybe one more part with a coaster will be their year and it's going to be interesting it's going to be wonderful to to see the progress of, of Six Flags Great Adventure over the 2022 season and see how Jersey Devil sits reliability and maintenance wise in its first full year of operation so um, I'm a huge fan of this coaster I really can't wait to see it open this year and um, you know it's going to be a good next few years to sort of see how it settles into the coastal island because you can't just judge a coaster when it first opens you've got to look at it over the next few years as well and see how it settles in reliability wise maintenance wise see how it keeps the excitement coming year upon year upon year and you know Six Flags do have a, a knack for doing that they do like to keep their rides for, for a good uh, period of time some rides don't last more than others however I think that Jersey Devil is definitely one for the 15 20 25 30 year mark at the theme park so Big, big stuff from Jersey Devil. Cannot wait to see it start testing, hopefully in the next few weeks. And for now, guys, my name is Coaster Chow, Caitlin the Coast Life. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coaster Chow, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Jersey-tastic day.